Hello, Katie here again from the Marion Public Library with more teen suggestions for summer reading. Today's selections are just general, like loosely around water theme. I know last time we had pirates, but I decided to go with just a general miscellaneous of things that happen around water. Some of these just don't perfectly fit into the other categories. So first up, I have a historical fiction, Freedom Swimmer by Wai Qin. This takes place in China during the Communist Party takeover. We have a main character, Ming, who's um, lived in a village all his life and is used to hard labor. And then another character who is from the party who gets sent and not used to um, hard labor. They bond over their love of swimming. And as the party takes over more and more and makes life more pressing and bitter, they start to dream of freedom. Interesting take. Next up, we have Instant Karma by Marisa Meyer. This is her contemporary. I know she usually does sci-fi and fantasy, but this is a contemporary. Look at that blue cover, very blue. Um, this takes place in a coastal town. Um, the main character, Prudence, is very um, overachieving and likes things done a certain way, and she gets partnered with the class sac um, slacker on a science project. And, um, during a karaoke event, she hits her head and gets a new power called Instant Karma, where she's able to um, assess karmic justice on anyone, except for, for some reason, the class slacker. Um, so they have to redo a science project, and the only way she's um, he's agreed to work with her is if she also helps out at the sea animal rescue that him and his mother work at. This one is full of Beatles puns and um, sea facts, especially sea animal facts when they're rescuing animals, and it teaches Prudence a little bit to not judge a book by its cover, and maybe karma isn't everything. Very fun read. Next up, we have Wave by Diana Farid. This one does not even have plastic yet, that is how new it is. Uh, this is set in 1980s Southern California and about a Persian American girl who is just getting into teenagerhood and coming of age. And she loves surfing, obviously, <laughs> but um, she's dealing with everything that comes with, you know, being a teen. But also her best friend just got diagnosed with cancer and she's writing out that and being a Persian American and finding her identity. And can she ride the waves of life and return to shore safely? And this is a gorgeous cover. Like, I'm gonna show you the back even, like, look at this supposed to be a very powerful read. Also, it's told in verse, so it'll be a fast read. Next up, this one's checked out. It's adult science fiction. This one is one of my only non-teen picks, but I think it'd be great for Eve up some of you guys' alley. It's Into the Drowning Deep by Mary Grant. This is a horror science fiction book. Um, if you like History Channel documentaries, this book is set up like that. It's about a science, a research science vessel going to try to dispel the myth of mermaids and other sea monsters. And it, I highly suggest the audiobook because it does feel like um, a History Channel documentary that way. It also has representation. Some of the scientists are deaf, so they actually mention using sign language. So. Very fun read. Let's see if this will stay up. If I do that, yay, it'll stay up. Next up, we have another horror, actually. The Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw. So this is about a town in Oregon that has, for over two centuries, been cursed by witches that were drowned. And every year, the three witch sisters come and inhabit bodies of three girls until Three men are drowned to repay the debt and the cycle continues. So there's a 17 year old girl who's living in this town and trying to just get through her day except there's a new guy that she kind of likes and he has no idea about the curse. So unreliable narration, mystery, is the curse real, is the curse not real, very fun and shiny feather. So here's Five more reads for summer that have to do with an ocean of possibilities. Happy summer reading.